hi guys welcome back so today we will continue with the uh, DI module series okay so we have already seen one module complete row by row comparison and using that module I showed you uh, how to compare to Excel file and how to compare to database table okay so there is one another module which we will which we are going to see today okay so the module is file load into caching database okay this is very useful module okay let me uh, tell you uh, what all parameter it takes okay basically this module uh, what it will do it will load your file data suppose uh, you have some csv file so it support supports csv and as well as fixed length file so let me show you one csv file i have so this is one csv file where i have 20 rows of data okay and this is my header okay so suppose if if there is any requirement like if you want to read um, the csv file and if you want to validate some content from it suppose based on this i ask based on this employee ID just give me the employee detail or customer detail okay then if you go through that conventional method read the file uh, line by line okay then get the data it, it the task will be a bit complex okay and you also know that but if you use this particular module file load into caching database what it will do it will load all this data in the table format okay in row and column wise you all knows how database table looks like okay it will store this detail in that table format so what will happen if someone asks to get the details from this csv file what you will do you will simply write the query if you have data available in database means how you fetch the data you just write the query and you get the data that will make uh, the task very easy okay so we'll see today how uh, this module will store this csv file data and one more thing let me tell you here it's saying caching database okay so caching database here means it's sqlite file uh, sqlite database okay so if you don't have sqlite database just install it you can easily download from google okay just install the driver and then you can see the data which uh, whichever file you will upload into the database that you can see through your sqlite db so i will show you sqlite db this is sqlite db which i have already downloaded and installed okay this is the uh, UI of uh, SQLite DB. This is how it looks like, and we have option to create new database, open database. Okay, then this tab will show the if you have any table, it will show your table name here. If you have any data uh, tables available, you can see the data here. Okay, currently we don't have any table created. Okay, and this is the place where you write the queries to fetch the data. So, and before explaining this, okay, let me tell you one more thing. Once we use this particular module and we provide all the required attribute values, okay, then our test case is passed. Suppose our test case is passed and it has loaded the data into the database. But how we'll come to know, like, where is our database resides how we can see the data which we have recently uploaded so for that you have to click on project then settings click on tosca data integrity it will show the caching database location which is under local app data tosca data integrity executor and caching.sqlite this is our database file where our data will get stored let me go to this path okay 
तो उसका डेटा इंटीग्रिटी एग्जीक्यूटर दिस इज कैशिंग डॉट एस क्यू लाइट ओके हाउ वी कैन ओपन दिस फाइल लेट मी शो यू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन ओपन डेटा बेस जस्ट नेविगेट टू दैट पाथ ओके आफ्टर नेविगेटिंग टू दैट पाथ यू विल सी दैट होल्डर एंड देन डबल क्लिक ऑन दैट so now we don't have we have one table here already that i had i was trying yesterday so i created okay and let's upload this data okay upload this customer file data into the sqlite or caching database okay let me close this we go back and drag and drop into the test case which i have already created okay so it will ask few parameters okay which is like we have to provide mandatory parameters like table name what is the table name which we want to create okay or if it is a, any existing table is there that is also fine but they want to create a new table so we'll give the suppose employee employee data okay this is the table which will get create into the database and next one is keep existing table entries okay if there is any existing table is there if you want to keep the data which is already there then you can keep this option as true otherwise if you want to override just keep uh it has false okay and which file file name it is asking which file we want to upload so we want to upload this customer data file and file mode it's a csv file okay file encoding just leave it as it is or if you want to perform some and if you want to use any uh, kind of file encoding you can select from the uh, given list okay column delimiter means our records are separated with comma so this is called a delimiter in some files you might see a pipe symbol or semicolon so whichever symbol is there you can select from here okay comma row separator not required column to process also not required if you want to rename any column you can provide the column name but we don't want to rename this column names okay and header row yes we have header which is available in first row okay if you don't have headers in your csv file you can give none if you want to skip any line starting with suppose i have this file in that few lines are there which is starting with slash a uh, sorry uh, hash okay so but i don't want to capture those lines okay this is unwanted lines i have in my file so if you want want to ignore this you can give hash so what it will do it will skip the line starting with hash symbol okay and only line is starting with so if you want to capture suppose i have this many records but only i want to capture the line which is starting with hash so just provide here hash so what this step will do once you execute it will look for a line which is starting with hash and it will capture only those lines it will skip other lines cell setting so this all or our cell data okay and if you want to perform some modification with the cells so you can perform so if you go to the google and if you search for uh, um uh, this particular module description there you will see one table which will um tell you like or which will show you like what all cell settings are available okay and few seconds back when i moved my cursor here you would have seen one uh, this this one i was talking so what all cell settings are available you can see here 
okay trim or replace like that you can perform if it is required for your case okay and the last one is like load error behavior okay so there might be a chance um, while uploading the data you might face some error okay loading error that time we have two option either we can ignore or we can capture it okay so i want to ignore it okay and suppose if you want to capture those error suppose if you want to capture some error like you can give either if you want 10 errors just give 10 if you want 25 errors 26 errors okay if 100 errors you can give and then just provide the file name so in that file the, those errors will get saved error message okay so now i'm done with um, filling up the required details okay let's quickly run this and see whether our data will get load or not within two seconds the test case executed and nothing to show in scratch book directly will jump to the database currently we have one table let me refresh it you can see two table has been created i mean sorry one table is created employee data one table was already there let me select employee data okay so if you notice here whatever data it has been created one to 20 same data we have available here okay same data we have available here and each data which is separated with a delimiter column has been given into different different column based on the column names index it has given one you can see index one customer id is this one customer id has been created in separate separate column now if you compare this table with this file and if i ask to Get me the data for this particular employee, which will be fast. Obviously, this this fetching data from DB will be fast. So suppose if I ask this, get me um, uh, employee data for this ID, employee ID. What I will go? I will go and I will just write query select star from employee data where cast id equals to you see I, we got the data okay and you already know how we can um, connect with the database and how we can run the query how we can store the value this makes our task very easy and very fast okay otherwise what you will do you will go and read the file read the line extract the data which is very complex okay just to reduce that okay complexity our tosca has provided <coughs> tosca has provided this module to make it fast okay let me change to complete it to make the work fast okay and easy initially you might have you might feel like this is also a bit complex but just do a practice once or twice and you will feel like this is far better option than the normal uh, method like how we read the file and get extract the data okay and let me know if if you want me to um, create a video on how to connect this uh, sqlite database i have already created a video on how to create a uh, connect with the sql uh, sql database sql server database the concept is same okay the concept is almost same okay the same approach you can uh, follow for sqlite db also and believe me this is very uh, easy and useful module okay as compared to those that conventional method which i was talking in the video to read file and all okay 
this will make your task easier as compared to that approach okay just go and practice and let me know if you have any doubt okay okay guys thank you bye bye